since I played on the video with my new 20 year old Sony ICF 7600GR with the Weatherfax New Zealand Med Series has updated the power of its transmitters. So now I get much less noise on my reception with that receiver. So now we are waiting for the next transmission. The representation on the laptop is now noise free. Two days after I bought the receiver, I replaced the LED. The receiver is now 20 years old and at the time only dim green LEDs were available for this purpose. Now you can get white bright LEDs so I put it in. I'm now letting the Weatherfax reception finish with the sound turn up a bit so you can both see and hear how the reception is good enough for the automatic stop function to work. What you're hearing now is the bottom of the frame. The text makes these rasping noises. It is Saturday today, the 5th of August, and we don't get any industrial operations in the naval yard. There you are. The picture has stopped rolling up. That rasping noise, stronger than the one of the text, indicates that the reception has finished. Here is another frequency for the weather facts. This frequency usually has more computer noise from around the area, but again it is Saturday. So at the top here you don't see the squiggles quite so much that indicate we get local interference. There is some, but not so much.
the frequency again this reception takes about 13 minutes so that's a bit tedious I suppose I'll start the video again when it's closer to the bottom the program that I use is JBCOM32 it's no longer maintained it may be that the author is no longer alive you notice that the image has stepped sideways a little bit there's an editing function that allows me to get rid of this stepping here is some local interference that's probably generated by Sander's stepper and on the screen it looks like this not too excessive the antenna is above the roof which is a steel roof and that reduces interference generated in the house a little bit these are the controls on the side of the set there are two rotating controls the one on the left hand side is for volume the one on the right hand side is for adjusting the pitch when receiving a single side bend the switch next to the single side bend rotating control is set to upper single side bend the middle switch is set to receive single side bend when receiving AM it has to be in the middle position we're now nearly at the end of this particular weather fax transmission there are the noise indicating text This receiver doesn't have a noise blanker in it so you can hear these slight popping noises and the bigger rasping noise indicating the end of the transmission the tone remains for a short while and just as the lights went off the uh, tone transmission is gone as well for the next transmission I have to change frequencies again while I'm waiting for the next transmission which is the Tasman, New Zealand and the Pacific I might as well show you the inputs on the left hand side of the Sony ICF SW7600 TR on the left is the cable that connects the external antenna this is an antenna switch to allow me for, to change from the normal transmitter which is still turned on it also receives weather facts to this portable receiver then there is a control for 
setting the attenuation. You can switch that one on and off with a switch next to it. Then after that we have a line out audio and this is what goes to the computer. It replaces the other cable that comes from the transmitter when I receive weather fax from the transmitter receiver. You also have a socket for the earphones. Significant for me is that you can have the audio recording and still the speaker on. So there you go, a Sony ICF 7600GR used for weather fax reception. And here we are waiting for the next transmission. The carrier tone for the next transmission has just come on. Some people are changing the duration for the light staying on. But usually I don't take videos so it doesn't worry me that it goes off after 10 seconds. But it's a modification that's available to do. This is the start signal. I now have to adjust the tone a bit. So that was done with the rotating control for single side bend. And the reception is now starting. Well, I have to start it manually because my tone was too far off frequencies. The picture will be sideways displaced. Because my single side bend rotating control was not quite in the right position to give me the right pitch, I had to start the reception on the computer manually. But the program JVCOM32 lets me do that. I won't bore you with the whole 13 minutes of this. As I said, the picture received is displaced sideways because I started the reception manually. Normally the incoming transmission will start the picture but that depends on having set the pitch right at my end to begin with. I can correct this displacement afterwards when I reload the picture received. This is the frequency at which I'm receiving 5805 kHz sometimes talked about as 5.805 megahertz. The reception is now reasonably clean on this frequency. The tuning steps that I can store on this 20 year old Sony ICF 7600GR are 1 kilohertz apart. That is why I have to use the SSB tone control on the side to get the frequency correct for reception on the computer. I am on page 2, preset 2. I can store up to 100 frequencies on this receiver. 20 years ago that was excellent. Now you can get up to thousands of memories on current receivers. We're now getting close to the end of the reception.
the caption text at the bottom has finished and although I started the reception manually it should now finish automatically since I've adjusted the tone and it has indeed stopped the reception. So the next thing is processing the picture and for that I might as well turn off the radio. I will now load the picture that I received so I can make some changes. It loads this window now I have to find the last received. I've got some other pictures stored previously under a different name. So I've got to make sure I get the correct one. And that should be the one. And here we are. So now we're telling it to load. I now don't need this window anymore. The first thing to do is get rid of the stepping. Now I've got the hand and I can get rid of the stepping like that. Next thing I want to move the picture sideways and I set it about here that has now set the picture in the middle just making sure there's no surprises at the bottom no it's all, all there now I can alter the contrast of the picture This brings up this window and now I go to the contrast control I usually prefer two steps and to bring the blacks up a bit I might make the illumination overall a little bit darker. Right, making sure that I will actually be able to store this by turning off the control. There you are, this is what will be stored. Now I store it under the same name, in other words I am overwriting the received picture. Save. Yes. And it's told me that it's doing that. And before I turn this off, I make sure that it is indeed saved. And there you are. That is the received picture that was off to the side and had a step in it. Corrected. Even though I had to manually start the reception, I got a usable picture. It is the 5th of August 2017 and I am Henry Faulkner.